Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing very well. Uh, here in this session, we are going to discuss about the problem which was asked in GATE DA 2024. Question number 65 it was and it was asked as an NAT based question for two marks. Right. The question is basically related from the probability and the question is as follows. I am reading the question and we are going to see the step by step solution. Question is two fair coins are tossed independently. X is a random variable that takes the value of one if both tosses are heads and zero otherwise. Y is a random variable that takes the value of one if at least one of the tosses is head and zero otherwise. The value of the covariance of X and Y is we require in the particular question the value of covariance of X and Y. Fine. So let's start the question. Uh, basically, uh, first define the random variable. So I am defining the random variable here. Uh, X equal to 1 if both coins are heads. If the both coin tosses are head and head. Fine. And X equal to 0 otherwise. Fine. Apart from it, uh, it was for random variable X. Now for random variable Y y equal to 1 if at least one of the headed tosses is head means one of the tosses head uh, tosses coin is head means either head head could be there or head tail could be there or tail head could be there if at least one head is there then y could be 1 and y equal to 0 otherwise 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 means both tosses are basically tail and tail obviously right or not right and here otherwise means head tail tell head or tell tell fine now the thing is that uh, we have just defined the random variable x here and random variable y and we can call it as a step one now let's see step two step two so basically in step two i need to determine the probability of outcome that what could be the probability of outcome if both are head if it is head tail if it is tell head and if it is tell tell fine so if you will see here uh, it is a step two which I need to figure out. So if both are head and if both are uh, tail uh, and if both are head tail or both are tail head fine. So this is step two. Uh, I can just uh, calculate that um, each outcome has an equal probability here whether if it is head or whether if it is tail it is unbiased coin so probability of both will be equal fine. So I can write it like probability of head and head will be equal to probability of head and tail and it will be equal to probability of tail and head and it will be equal to probability of tail and tail fine or not and 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 so I will get 1 by 4 right for all these four for all these four this is a step two now apart from this now I need to calculate a step three. So in step three, I am going to make the joint probability distribution of X and Y. So let's say the outcome I am making here and here uh, X here Y and here the probability part fine. Now, what is the outcome? Outcome can be head and head, head and tail, tail and head and tail and tail fine. So if head and head, the probability is one y is 1 the probability is finally we can say that 1 by 4 because we have already seen here in step 2 I am taking 1 by 4 so using step 4 I can say that 1 by 4 for all the cases fine and for joint probability here it was 0 0 0 for all other cases and for y it was 1 1 1 but only for tail it was 0 so this table I have just generated using the step 1 and step 2 right as per the given question x y and this is the probability fine this is step two part this was using step two and this and this was using step one and this is step three that i just generated this joint probability distribution joint probability outcome right for x and y i hope this step is clear now after that what i am doing is step four so in step four uh, what i am going to do that uh, I am going to calculate the expected value. I am going to calculate the expected values. So expected values that is E x equal to 1. E x equal to 1. So expected value of what is the expected value of x. So E x equal to 1 into probability of x equal to 1 plus 
zero into probability of x equal to zero. That is uh, one into one by four plus zero into three by four using the joint distribution table. So I am getting here one by four and the expected value of y expected value of y that is e x equal to uh, 1 dot probability of y should be 1 plus 0 and probability of y it should be 0 that is 1 into 3 by 4 plus 0 into 1 by 4 that is 3 by 4 these are the expected probabilities using this joint distribution table you can see i have just written down the results in the step 4 fine these are the expected value of x and y now expected value of expected value of x comma y fine so e of x into y equal to 1 into 1 all the combination i need to take where probability of x equal to 1 and probability of y is also equal to 1 plus plus 0 into 1 where probability of x equal to 0 and probability of y equal to 1 plus plus 0 into 0 where probability of x equal to 0 and probability of y equal to 0 fine these are the expected value of x into y these are the expected value of probability of x comma 0 y plus uh, 1 1 0 1 0 0 now it is 1 0 where probability of x equal to 1 and probability of y equal to 0 so all the four cases we have done this one this one this one and that one fine now if we are going to just substitute the values from the uh, step uh, whatever we have discussed here and if i am just going to use the joint distribution using the previous equation uh, i can just uh, say that i will get the value here 1 by 4 i only need to put the values accordingly fine after that step 5 after that step 5 uh, which is saying that the covariance of x comma y so the covariance of x comma y is e into x into y minus e into x multiply with e into y uh, so here it is 1 by 4 e of x that is 1 by 4 and e of y is 3 by 4 in step 4 you can util you can get the value of all these three from step 3 this is 1 and uh, this is 1 and this is 1 right so I have just used this e x expected value of e x and expected value of e y and expected value of e x y I am using for the covariance purpose and at the end I am getting the answer uh, that is uh, if you are going to calculate here then uh, 1 by 4 minus 3 by 16 16 will be the remainder so 16 minus 3 uh, 13 it would be so okay so 4 is there so 4 4 is 16 4 minus 3 that is I am going to get 1 by 16 here fine and uh, ultimately the covariance value I am going to get is 0 0.0 625 the covariance using this particular equation i am getting 0 0.0625 which is the correct answer so i hope the solution is clear all these five steps should be clear to you and using this you can answer such kind of questions i hope the solution is clear please do subscribe for now getting the solution of gate cs also as we have already discussed all the 65 questions of gate da now be prepared and ready and stay tuned for gate cs solutions one by one please do subscribe and stay tuned